On Monday, Tempe City leaders will host a public hearing on reducing speed limits from 5 to 10 miles per hour. The changes look to make streets safer and would impact portions of Mill Avenue, Southern Avenue, College Avenue, and First Street. Drivers we talk to say reducing speeds may not work. And it sucks for cars. I don't follow speed limits. I mean, everybody's on their phone and they don't pay attention. So I'm going to ride as fast as I want to ride to stay away from other cars. I don't know. I feel like a lot of people do speed on the streets. They definitely do go faster than the posted speed limit. It's not simply just to change some numbers. The city says by slowing down traffic, they can cut down on crashes and injuries. They're also hoping to create more consistency on certain roads. There are two different speed limits within several hundred feet, and it makes no sense. And it's not even fair to the driver to suddenly change it on them. Some of the changes include reducing the speed on Mill Avenue to 35 miles per hour between University and Broadway and from 45 to 40 on Southern Avenue. Everyone's already speeding over the speed limits to get to where they need to go already. And so if you slow it down, it just means people are now going more over the speed limit than what they actually are. And especially with like traffic and school being back in session, it's just going to be even more congested and it's going to be worse for people to even drive. City leaders will hold two public hearings, one on Monday and another on September 19th. If everything goes according to plan, the changes would take effect 30 days after that second hearing. Some say it may not be enough. I feel like the speed limit signs aren't like a very efficient way of enforcing things. Like, because there's no one there standing there telling you, like, you have to go this speed. Instead, they say it's up to drivers to do better. I think it starts with people that get behind a wheel. It's like, remember to put their phone down or not be drinking or doing makeup or eating or talking to their homies or on the phone. Because not only, like, are the bikes out, but I mean, there's people walking all over the place. I've been cut off so many times in the last, like, two weeks I've been here. I think, like, the whole... It's not just like a speeding problem. I think it's just like a driving problem. In Tempe, Patrick Case, ABC 15, Arizona.